All right, so when it comes to C pass, all right, when using C pass, um, okay, C pass means catalog. I mean, okay, C pass means collaborative ads. Fundamentally, what is this all about is when you are selling on marketplaces like Shopee or Lazada, okay, what happened is if you have C pass access, let's say Shopee, right, they are able to create a catalog based on all the products that you have on your Shopee store and share it to your ads manager. So what you can do next is you're able to retarget people who visited your products but did not purchase. So essentially, because this is really something that you can't do if you're driving traffic to your Shopee store and you don't have CPaaS because technically, when a person click over to your Shopee store, you lost control. You have no tracking mechanism and whatnot. But when you have CPaaS, you can do that. So this question is about CPaaS, right? So let's say when you're using CPaaS and catalog sales as objective, there's no exclusion. Audience can be done. So, okay, there is no exclusion. What, what, what she means here is that when you're setting up a tier two campaign, which is tier one is to target the fresh audience and tier two is to target people who visited but did not purchase, all right? So I actually did this in the last session, but I don't want to go through that again. Basically, it's very simple. When you're using CPaaS, for those who have CPaaS would know that, okay, when you're doing your audience targeting using the catalog objective, inside the audience targeting, there are two options. One is to go for people who have engaged with your ad, which is the first option. The other one is to go for the fresh audience. Now, if you're using the people who have engaged with the ad or something, you know, you have the option to go for people who visited and added to cart but did not purchase in the last how many days, but you know, stuff like that. When you go down to the last option, which is the customized combination, you're able to target people who have purchased, uh, who, have, who have done certain thing and have not done certain thing. So that's how you do your inclusion and exclusion further to exclude people who have purchased and whatnot, right? So that's how the whole thing works. Even you want to target people who view but did not add it to cart, it could be done as well. It's inside the custom combination column. All right, that's how it's done.